Coach Angus, first of all, you build a 21-point lead, then it really goes away there, and you have to hang on at the end. What did you feel were the biggest issues when the, when the lead slipped away? Well, again, this is a team that, you know, we've assembled that are, we're trying to, you know, learn how to win. And um, I thought when we built the lead, we stopped playing the way we got the lead. And, you know, until we get enough games under us, you know, and w with our ball club, um, you know, this is the first test with this team. And, again, I, I was happy that we didn't crack down the stretch and we made winning basketball plays down the stretch to secure the game. Uh, and that's a good sign, but we got to go back and break this film down and, and, um, and talk about how we built the lead and how we can extend the lead going forward because I didn't, I didn't think we handled that part of it very well tonight. You started out, I think they were three for 14. They might have missed their first 10 or 11 shots. Was that the, the key defensively, what you're looking for from your team? Yeah, I mean, again, I've been saying it all along. Our defense is really, when I look at the three exhibition games that we played, you know, this is kind of how we played defense. And, you know, I expected that uh, coming out tonight. Uh, didn't really know. I mean, we had a good offensive display in one of the games in the Bahamas. And then against Belmont, we had, you know, we were really good offensively. I thought the way we moved the ball and made shots. Uh, you know, we're missing a lot of wide open threes right now. And so we got to get better in that area because it was, these same guys have been making them in practice. And uh, we, they just got to feel comfortable in taking them in the game and making them. And they will. We'll, we'll get to that point. But um, I like the way we started the ball game based on our defense because, it, you know, I, I, I keep saying it. If we can build a defensive foundation here, you know, we'll be in every ball game and give ourselves a chance to win. Yeah, I was going to ask you about the threes and maybe also the ball movement. There were times when it really hopped, and then there were times that didn't. How did you feel that aspect in terms well, of like what you were trying to do with pick and roll and so forth? Well, well, a few times when it did hop, it, lo it looked pretty good. Uh, you know, Trace is going to get double team, and we know that. Um, so when the ball comes out of there on the first pass, that shot is a lot of times open. And, and we had good looks at it with Xavier and Rob and whoever was in that spot, and we just – didn't knock them down. But again, we got to keep shooting them because it's a part of the game. And we do have to play inside out and, and get better ball movement. But that's on me. I got to get them to that point. Just what's going on in, in, your, in your head, I guess, in that moment coming out on the court with your family there, and just that moment, kind of your first time be, be, being introduced as IU's head coach? Well, again, it's good to be back home, man. I mean, you know, the fan base is here is like no other fan base. I mean, they they stay in the game all the way from the beginning to the end, and that's 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 helpful. That's healthy for our our young team uh, as we grow. Uh, we're going to need our fan base. Um, so it was good to be back, um, but in a different setting. You know, I was I played here many many years ago, and those were good times, man. I'm just trying to get this team back to where that was back in the day. It'd be kind of nice. Yeah, Coach, kind of going off of that, I know you're focused on the game and everything, but was there any points during the game where you just kind of took a step back and looked up and like kind of appreciated everything and being back? Sure. You know, I mean, when I walked on the floor, you know, I appreciated, you know, the fact that I spent my career here as a bas young basketball player and, and then I left it. This team allowed me to go to the NBA and and having a successful career in the NBA, and now I'm back. So, you know, it's it's a special time for me. Uh, but again, guys, this is not about me, man. This is about a 17 guys that are wearing this uniform, man. That, that we're trying to get these guys back on top and teach them how to win basketball games. Yeah. I guess talking about the three-point shooting, is there almost an element of you not wanting guys to be reckless, but it's saying, "Listen, you got to keep shooting. You don't even if they're not going in, don't get shy about shooting them." Well, I'm, I would never, you know, give them. You know, I want them to have confidence in shooting them, but I thought there were about three or four that were just unnecessary, 
And, you know, those are the ones that you got to milk, you know, time on the clock and try to get a better shot. And, again, this team is learning, man, but it's my job to make sure that they know what the hell they're doing. And, and I thought we had so a lot of dry moments offensively that we got to, you know, go back to the drawing board and fix. My congratulations on the first win. Thank uh, you. You guys only had eight turnovers tonight, and four of those came in the first six minutes of the game, so only four to final 34. For the first game out, were you happy with that part of it in regards to protecting the ball the way they did? I was very happy with that. I mean, we set goals uh, coming in this season that 12 or less turnovers is our goal. And if we get over that, then, you know, I got I to gotta punish them a little bit. But we've been pretty good in that area in the three exhibition games. And uh, uh, tonight was, you know, eight turnovers. That's, that's pretty good. Coach, defensively, you guys give up only 19 in the first half, but 43 in the second half. What did you feel the biggest issues were on defense the, the last 20 minutes? Again, I thought our our switching was was pretty good for the most part, but you still got to challenge shots. And I thought they pulled the trigger on a few uh, of our switches where we just didn't contest hard enough, where in the first half we were contesting everything and we were kind of up in them defensively. And I thought we got – we got soft. We were, you know, we were comfortable, put it that way, with the lead. And, and then it changed drastically. So, you know, these are just things that we got to learn from, man. And it's my job to make sure that we learn from them. And when we're in that situation, again, maybe we can just push it a little bit higher than the 20. Mike, then we'll finish up with Lou. Yeah, Coach, you, you guys only out-rebounded them by one tonight. You only had five offensive rebounds. It looked on paper like you guys had a size advantage, but are, is that, are those numbers that you're disappointed in the effort, or how do you explain that? No, those? I mean, I'm not disappointed in that. I mean, again, you know, Trace and Race are going to get rebounds. we got to get these other guys, you know, picking up the scraps. I think when we get Mike back, you know, he's been known to rebound the ball as well, too, so he'll help in that regard. But uh, again, guys, I mean, I'm not, I'm not highly disappointed. I like the way we played in spurts. Um, and then the fact that we made the plays coming down the stretch, a team that hadn't been together a long time that's been challenged. Because in the three exhibition games, we weren't really challenged. And we, we, we was challenged tonight coming down the home stretch. And our guys stepped up and did what they needed to do. Last question, Lou. Coach. Are you keeping the game ball as a souvenir? And how much better does it feel to be 1-0 than 0-1? Well, it feels good to be 1-0. <laughs> but we got a long way to go, gentlemen. We do. And, yeah, I will keep that ball as a souvenir. All right, Coach. Thank All you. All righty. Thank you.